my colleagues Melanie Davis and Kamlesh Kunti and I have written a review in the journal Clinical Pharmacology Advances and Applications on what we should know about newer therapies when treating patients with type 2 diabetes and renal impairment. An estimated 200 million people worldwide have chronic kidney disease, mainly due to diabetes, arteriosclerosis and hypertension. Approximately 40% of patients with diabetes go on to develop chronic kidney disease. We know from major randomised control trials that intensive management of glycemic control improves incidence and progression of chronic kidney disease. It is essential, therefore, to know how to combine both new and conventional glucose-lowering therapies in patients with type 2 diabetes safely and effectively. Our review focuses on the use of both conventional and newer glucose-lowering treatment in type 2 diabetes, clearly illustrating which agents require dose adjustment or discontinuation with worsening renal impairment. Table 3 shows which conventional therapies are safe to use as chronic kidney disease progresses. In Table 4, we have summarised how the newer treatments for type 2 diabetes, specifically DPP-4 inhibitors, GLP-1 receptor agonists and SGLT2 inhibitors, can be used safely across the chronic kidney disease spectrum. The inclusion of several new glucose-lowering treatments increases the likelihood that type 2 diabetes will be well managed in the future. This should have a positive impact on long-term incidence and progression of renal impairment. Ongoing clinical studies of large populations with diabetes and chronic kidney disease, including studies such as Canvasar, Carmelina and Award 7, will further determine the safety and e efficacy of these newer agents and confirm if they have renoprotective effects. Thank you for listening.